Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll see one more example on longest common subsequence problem using dynamic program. So we usually call it as LCS problem. So which is the longest common subsequence, right? So first we need to take two different strings and we need to find what are the common subsequences. Okay, so in our previous session, we have discussed about this one. So the difference between subsequence and the substring. So coming to the subsequence, the order of elements can be any, I mean, we have to follow the order of the elements, not the consecutive elements. Okay, so that is that we have seen in our previous session. I'll post the link in the description box. Please follow that and that you can listen. So we have taken two different formulas in order to fill the 2 by 2 matrix. Okay, see, let us take the strings, consider str1, a string as a, b, c, b, d, and a, b. And coming to the string 2, b, d, C A B A. Okay, so these are the two different strings. Now we have to find out the longest subsequence among these two strings. First, we have to draw the horizontal and the vertical lines. I'll write here A B C. B, D, A, and B. And here I'll write so initially take it as zeros. Zero, sorry. Consider initial values as zeros. Right? So in the vertical, we can write it as B, D, C, A, B, and A. Consider the boxes. We need to fill all these columns, and these columns should be filled with the help of two formula. So here also initially we are taking it as zeros. Initial. Okay. So we have taken the complete uh, cells and now we need to fill all the cells by using two formula. The first one, if xi is equal to is equal to xj, if both are equal, then, then the cell value will be, okay, we can write it as cell of i j will be. 1 plus cell of i minus 1 and j minus 1. So we need to add one element, I mean 1 to the cost of i, I minus 1 and j minus 1. And uh, the second one, if i not equal to j and both the elements are not equal, then the cell cost of i j will be a maximum of cost of i minus 1 sorry, j or c of i and j minus 1. Among these two we have to select the maximum. Okay, select this one. b and a. Right? So let us consider this as x and this one as y. 
so x i x j sorry i think is y and here also right a and b both are compared and we know that both are not equal so we need to consider the maximum of i minus 1 j and j i j minus 1 so we have to consider i minus 1 j so let it be i and let it be j i minus 1 means this one j minus uh, j means this one and j j i minus 1 j or i j minus 1 so both the cells are this one diagonal cells so here we are having the same number so what we have to do we can take any value so i'll consider this one and just place the array from which cell we are taking this i am taking this from this array, from this cell now b is compared with b both are equal then we have to add one to the cost of i minus 1 j minus 1 i minus 1 j minus 1 means this one okay this diagonal so we need to add one to this particular diagonal so zero so now it will be one and we have taken it from diagonal position okay now b and c both are not equal among these two which one is the max one so i will take one and we have taken this from this particular cell and again b and b both are equal so we need to add this one one and we have we got this from the diagonal and b and d both are unequal so we need to consider a maximum from either this cell or this cell so one is a maximum and we have taken this from this cell and b and a both are not equal so we have to select maximum among these two cells i will consider this one because one is a maximum among zero and one and we have taken from this cell now again b and b so we have to add 1 to i minus 1 j minus 1 so this one is i minus 1 j minus 1 so obviously it will be 1 and we have taken from diagonal position now coming to the second one d a both are not equal so what we have to do so we have to consider the maximum among this one and this one so both are equal i am taking here and i am taking from this cell d and b both are unequal so from these two diagonal positions we have to consider a maximum one is a maximum i'm taking one and we have taken it from top cell okay so put the arrow mark towards the upward next d and c both are unequal we need to consider a maximum among these two diagonals so both are ones so obviously the result will be one and we can consider it from any cell you can write the leftward arrow or upward arrow next d and b both are unequal again we got one so i'll take one from this particular cell d and b equal so we have to add one to c i minus one j minus one which is this one so one plus one it becomes two and we got two from this here. so d and a both are unequal among these one and two we have to consider the maximum i'll consider the maximum as two we got this from this this cell d and b both are unequal again one and two are there diagonally we need to take maximum i take a maximum and i am taking from this particular cell now c c and a both are unequal so if both are unequal we have to consider a maximum among demo, uh, diagonal both are zeros again i will consider zero i i consider from this cell or okay you can also consider from this particular cell no problem c and b both are unequal zero and one diagonally we are having two values among these two we have to select the maximum so i am considering one and we have considered from this particular cell c and c both are equal so we need to add one to i minus one j minus one which is this cell so one plus one it becomes two we got two from this particular cell and c and b both are unequal and one and two we need to choose a maximum among this one and two so two is a maximum and we got this from this particular cell and c and d both are unequal among the diagonal we are have we have to select the maximum so both are equal so we can select two either from this side or this side i will consider this side no problem anything and c and a so c and a both are unequal we are having a diagonally two and two so we can consider two and we can select either c and b both are unequal two and two i will consider two 
and let us consider upwards no problem and a a and a both are equal so we need to add 1 2 c i minus 1 j minus 1 which is this cell so here it is 0 now it becomes 1 and we got 1 from this cell and a and b both are unequal so we need to select a maximum among diagonal 1 and 1 so both are equal so we can consider any cell so a and c both are unequal 1 and 2 are diagonals we need to select a maximum among these 1 and 2 so i will select 2 and this comes from upward cell and next a and b both are unequal again we are having a 2 and 2 we can select any uh, both are equal we can select any number okay i mean the number from any cell so i consider from this one next a and d both are unequal again diagonally we are having 2 and 2 so from this we got a 2 and i will consider from this cell a and a both are equal so we need to add 1 to the i minus 1 j minus 1 that is a diagonal here so 2 so 2 becomes here 3 we got 3 from this particular cell and next a and b both are unequal among this diagonal 2 and 3 we have to consider the maximum so i am considering 3 and that we caught from left left side cell and b and a both are unequal so 0 and 1 we have to consider maximum i consider maximum and we got this one from upward cell b and b both are equal we need to add 1 to diagonal so here it is 1 so after adding 1 it becomes 2 so we got 2 from this particular cell and b and c both are unequal and diagonally we are having a 2 and 2 so both are same we can consider it as a 2 and we can consider any cell and b and b both are equal so obviously this diagonal position we need to add 1 so 2 becomes 3 and here from this cell we have considered the 2 next b and d both are unequal so here diagonally 2 and 3 are there among 2 and 3 we got only uh, 3 so we have to consider a 3 which is selected from left cell b and d both are unequal sorry b and a both are unequal here diagonally we are having the same number 3 and 3 so we can select any any number from any cell I consider this one and b and b both are equal diagonally it was 4 so we can we have to write it as a 4 and we got it from diagonal next a and a both are equal diagonally 0 it becomes 1 so from here we got it 1 next a and b both are uh, uh, unequal so among 1 and 2 we need to take the maximum so 2 is a maximum I am considering 2 with this particular element so a and c both are unequal diagonally we are having the same element so we can take the same element from either cell either left cell or up cell and a to b both are unequal again we are having 2 and 3 among 2 and 3 3 is a maximum selected from up cell a and d both are unequal we are having a diagonally both are equal 3 and 3 so obviously we can consider 3 and we can select any cell a and a both are equal so if both are equal what happens diagonally 1 should be added to i minus 1 j minus 1 this is i minus 1 j minus 1 1 should be added to 3 so it becomes 4 which is a diagonal position and again a and b both are unequal so we need to select a maximum among these two diagonals so same value which we are taking from 4 Wait. see here we need to select the last one a and b both are not equal okay a and b both are not equal so we need to select either this cell or this cell because here we are having a both four right so we need to select the maximum and here we are having the same number so we can select the four and either from left cell or up cell you can select anything so if you consider the left cell so in such a situation you can get a more than one longest common subsequence okay we are having two paths either we can go with the uh, left cell or you can go with the up cell so first case if you are selecting this particular cell that means left cell what is the longest subsequence you can see so left cell if you consider a left cell okay so what happens so from here we need to start traveling so this one and this four comes from this cell so here we got a change so which is a okay now we are at 3 this cell comes from here 3 and again diagonal so this cell comes from 
C. So here there is a change. So B and writing everything from right to left. Okay. So we are at 2. Now we have considered it as 2. Okay. And here this cell we got from this particular cell. So there is a change. So that is C. 1. So this we have considered 1. So here this cell we have got from A. It is It was updated. That means a change. So we have to consider this as B. Okay. The left cell. This is the longest common subsequence among these two strings you can see b c b a so the same order it was following from string 1 and string 2 in both the strings the same order so b followed by c followed by b followed by a here also b followed by c followed by b followed by a so we are not considering the substring, we are considering the subsequence. So whether it is following the same sequence or not. Right? Next. So if you consider it as an up cell. So if you consider it as an upward cell. If the last cell was taken from upward. So if the arrow mark is from this side. We can check. So. This cell we got from this one and here it is changed from the A. So what is this one? B. Now we are at A. So the direction, just follow the direction. And we got a 3 updated from D. So here we have to select A. Okay. Next. This one we got from this, this cell. So which was not updated. Again, this, this was appeared from this particular cell which was updated right so now it is c now we move we move to one and this cell we got from above cell right here we got here there is a change it was updated from a to b right so we need to consider b now we are at a which is zero so the long this is also the longest common subsequence how we can say we can check so Check the same thing in the strings. First B. Yes. Followed by C. Yes. Followed by A. Yes. Followed by B. Yes. So the order is same here also. Here also the order is same. So B followed by C. C followed by A. A followed by B. So both are the longest common subsequences. So this is an example where we can get multiple subsequences okay it's not limited to only one subsequence so we can get maximum subsequences with the number of elements so if it is a longest subsequence four elements four element subsequence we are getting a two answers so two solutions okay so hope you understood so first we need to draw the table and initialize it with zeros for first row and first column and then use these two formulae to fill each and every cell and use the arrow marks in order to travel from bottom to top. Here also we need to write the solution from right to left. Write down the elements from right to left. So B, C, B, A is one solution. B, C, A, B is another solution. For these two strings. For these two strings. So there will be a more number of subsequences. But this is the longest common subsequence. Longest common subsequence. Right. So. Hope you understood this one. So let's stop here. If you are if you're having any doubts or queries. Please feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session. Like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.